Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is mostly a fishing and outdoors related channel. And today I decided why not make a video. Um, this is a fish, this is gonna be a fishing topic. That's that's gonna be kind of the theme here. And today I said why not uh, do do a what's inside a fisherman's backpack. So Essentially, this is my backpack. I haven't, uh, I haven't really done anything with it. This is just kind of how it is right now. So there may or may not be some things that are missing to my pack. You know that I that I keep with me on other days. But you know those uh, fisherman's kit is always changing from season to season. But this is just my backpack. Um, Right now, as I've got it set up, I wanted to show you guys um, the fisherman's backpack. So, let's uh, start with the outside. This is buckled on. This is just like a garden um, pad for kneeling on when you're pulling weeds or working in the garden or flower bed. Uh, I specifically like this though because you can use it, say you, a lot of times in fishing you're on some twigs or rocks or dirt or the ground is damp or wet. So you can take something like this, keep it with you and you can put it on the ground and sit on it on the ground um, and protect yourself that way. But it also works just great, just put it on your camping chair and uh, it, give, it provides you with a lot of warmth and insulation. You can also use a throw buoy, the big square buoys, you know, for throwing, um, or those life-saving devices. Uh, that's probably better for ice fishing when it's really cold. But put this on your camping chair, it'll keep you warm, and it'll protect you from the ground if you need to use it that way too. So that's the first piece of kit, and that's just a kind of comfort thing. And then over here on the other side, I unclip this one. This is, a, I guess it's called a Nebo Poppy, and this is a really cool piece of gear that gets a fair amount of use, especially on the night, night uh, trips when you're going out on a night ops. So with this one, it's got the handle on the top, and you can hold it like this, and it becomes a lantern. Um, and then you use it as a lantern, right? And then you, uh, you can close it. And then the handle's got this cool little clip here. You push these two things apart, and it lets you flip the handle up like so. And then you can use it as a lamp, which is um, or a flashlight, which is really nice. So this is another piece of kit that I keep with me. It's also dimmable. Um, the Nebo Poppy, any flashlight really, especially now in May we're doing night ops for, for various uh, species. Now we'll open the front pocket first, but before we do let's check inside this front pouch behind the molly strapping. You see we've got, this is just uh, some, some pantyhose for uh, working with chicken livers and baits like that. It won't stay on the hook, so you need to create a little bag and then put them on the hook that way. So we've got some of that in this front pouch here. A lot of that there is a good place to keep that. Okay, and then this front pocket, immediately you'll see you got the zipper here. Inside this pouch we have a little buck knife here, a little stainless steel. This is uh, this comes in, in really handy. Uh, for cutting baits, you know, cutting line, really anything you'd need a knife for. And then I just added that little nut there to um, make it easier grip in the hand. So that's the uh, unimportant piece of kit. You really should have something like this in your fisherman's backpack. Uh, next, we've got portable agua PA plus, and then just portable agua. This is the port. This is the. Uh, water uh, filtration system where you put, you know, a tab, a, a, a ta little tablet in a liter of water and give it like 30 minutes, it'll purify the water. So that's this, you know, that's really nice if you're going to be in a place where you can't be refilling your own water. Moving on, uh, we've got a pen. Uh, just
just a this is just a gel pen. I, I like this specific um, brand of pen. We got a pen in there in case you need to uh, take any notes or do anything like that. Um, also, we're gonna have this uh, clamshell case. I've got a pair of sunglasses. Um, I, I might want to put them in the clamshell case. You know, if I'm gonna be moving around, I want to be even more crush proof. And then this another. Uh, you can't live without these. This is just some pliers. Um, you know, really simple. I love these Cabela's pliers. They've got really great uh, heavy duty grips, and then it's got a coating on the actual hardware on the tool itself, so there's waterproof. And this just tapered really nicely, seems to work for pretty much any species you've got. So, those needle nose pliers is what you want. We've got in here uh, just a box of some various jigs that I bought. Uh, white with pink eyes, you know, chartreuse, yellow, orange, some red eyes. Uh, just a few jigs. You might find yourself using something like that from time to time through the ice or fishing for, for bass and things like that. So I keep some jigs. And I want to start tying up some of, some of my own jigs. And then I think that'll be it for this front pocket. So then we're going to move into, let's uh, move into the, oh, there's one more thing in here. Oh, yeah, this is a natural, it's called Natural Ice Sport. This is a lip balm, um, really like a good uh, um, sun protection on this one, kind of like sunscreen lip balm. It's good to have something like this in your pack too, especially on the, uh, when the sun is going to be around and about. So I think we've got everything in that. We're going to check the side pockets now. On this side pocket, I've got the uh, light up bobbers. These are really, these can be really fun. You know, you're doing a night ops. You've, uh, you can just throw these night, these light up bobbers on. It's really easy to see your bait, and if you see it go under. You'll just see it start to glow, you know, it'll be really bright on top, but then it'll just go under and it'll just kind of glow. So those are really cool. We'll keep a couple of those and sometimes you, you, you might end up using them. Okay. Almost getting to the guts of the backpack. Nothing in this side pocket. So we're going to open up this, uh, this main pocket here. to the main pocket let's talk about what I've got right now the first thing is a relatively new piece of equipment this is just a fish gripper you grab the fish by the mouth and then it locks and then you can unlock it and let the fish go it's really easy for handling uh, fish that are difficult to handle and also to uh, to weigh your fish and I'll show how that works later but um, so that's got that's it that fish gripper and then here's one of my boxes I like to put stickers on my boxes, kind of shows where I've been in my life. In this specific box I've got circle hooks, treble hooks, swivels, split rings, uh, beads, some miscellaneous, you know, swivels and hooks, and then some jigs and other lures and hooks and stuff, but kind of a miscellaneous box in there, but I've got some good hooks and uh, swivels and things in that one. That's a Plano. So now this is the main box I've been I've been using. Um, and we're just checking the phone now to make sure how we're doing on battery life. We've got a few more minutes. But in this main box, you know, I re I've really come to like this box. I might find myself getting another one of these. Basically, you've got the top compartment. You open it up. There's a bottom compartment. So... In this box, I've got uh, same thing too. I've got some hooks, actually some leads in here, some barrel weights, split shots, Rapala's jigs, bigger hooks, lots of J hooks in here. Got a spinner bait, little uh, Joe's fly, some flies, just right off the top. And you can put anything in these small compartments. Really, got some smaller hooks there. Easily, really easy, accessible, just right on top. You know, really organized. And then this portion opens like this and I'll show you here we've got the um, the scale 
which uh, turns on, you can get kilograms or pounds, and then you'd say you get your fish on the gripper, and then you just tie a little knot in there so you can hook it like that, and then, you know, just sit there and, and uh, weigh your fish like that, you know, it's a really easy, easy way to weigh, to weigh your fish using your scale, so that's just a scale I keep. And then also I've got a few baits in here, I'll just show those really quick. What power bait eggs. The power bait is the power bait eggs are the good eggs. The Berkeley eggs don't have the same durability, they don't stay on the hook, whereas these ones, these power bait eggs, um, stay on just fine. No problems. They stay on really good. So those power bait eggs, uh, good bait, you can catch a lot of things with those. I've also got, uh, if I can get that one out here, Berkeley Gulp Worms. This will catch about anything too. These are just some fake worms that really smell with a lot of scent, produce a lot of scent. And catch uh, trout, bluegills, you know, anything on that. This right here is a um, little tape. Actually, a uh, tape for like measuring somebody for a suit or something like that like a tailor, but I've just cut it down to about maybe 30 inches, so you can just keep this tape and use it for, yeah, this is just like 52 inches, so you're probably not going to catch a fish that big, but it's good tape if you need it, but not too much, so it's taking up extra space, alright, so we'll go up here then, this is another excellent piece of kit to have, I love this, it's called the Boomerang Tool Company, um, cutters, you just, you know, go like that, and it locks, and then it opens. You cut, this cuts braid really, really well. You cut anything with that. Um, and then in here, you know, I got some mis miscellaneous hooks and, and weights just kind of strewn about. But then these are the Gamagatsu Bait Holder. This is the sharpest hook in the world. Uh, I love this hook, excellent trout hook, bluegill hook. You'd want to size up if you want it for uh, anything else, really. But this is a size 10. I've got uh, 32 of these ready to go. I'm sorry, 40 of these ready to go. And this is a size 8. But that's a great hook, the Gamagatsu's. Got some of those. And then finishing up, I've got a bunch of leads. you got some split shots, some uh, barrel weights, some... Uh, some more bigger split shots, and then in this, these are called no roll sinkers. They're shaped like uh, I don't know how to say. They're flat, so they slide on your line, but then when it gets on the bottom, it doesn't roll on the bottom. So those are really good too. So just some various leads, and then here I've got another box with just, just a few thick couple of hooks and a weight in there. And then lastly, I've got uh, some fly boxes. So. These two, these, this is a magnetic fly box. These are all mostly, these are all flies I've tied myself. Good trout flies, bluegill flies. And then here's another magnetic box with some, uh, some more flies I've tied myself. A bunch of mostly parachute atoms, um, elk hair caddis, you know, simple stuff like that. So some flies I've tied myself. And then... Here's more flies I've tied myself, kind of some terrestrial patterns in this one, and uh, different things like that, you know, a little, maybe some wet flies, bigger parachute atoms. But that's it, you know, just flies, hooks, some lures, some, some weights, a few tools, you know, and that's really all there is inside a fisherman's backpack. So thanks for watching.